Everything I state is for educational and entertainment purposes. Hey, y'all, this is some tea for your ass, huh? Let me find out. Russell Simmons has got all this shit going on. Kimora and her daughter, let him have it, honey. Then we find out that Kimora was dating this man since she was 16 years old. Hmm, let's get right on into it, girls. Things, I'll be that. It's fine. Think of all those names and whatever you want to do. But don't attack my, um, don't attack my kids. Don't have anything to say about what goes on in this house. Because if you want to, then we can all just do that. And like I said, we, I like receipts. I have receipts. I've been collecting them. I've been baking a cake. So if you want it, just let me know. Hit me up. Hmm, my girl said she let me know got, you receipts, got more. honey. Let her know. Please leave us alone. I beg. Sometimes I'm a little feisty. The yoga kind of escapes me, you know, and I'd be wanting to like, Mah! but I'm back to being a yogi right now. But you are living a, a life of sin and mess and crime and mess. That's the crazy part. So fix yourself. Don't throw stones when you live in a glass house. Okay. Make yourself right with your creator. And I see a lot of women on here that are saying, oh, this resonates so much. And I've had, oh, and here's Yoki on here right now. I see oh, my God. How do I erase that? How oh, child. Yoki said daddy been threatening her through text messages. Oh, child. Yoki said she was out here praying for her dad, hoping everything goes well. At the same time, he out there calling her mom a piece of shit. Yes, he did call Kimora a piece of shit, honey. Mm-mm-mm. This is spicy, girls. It definitely seems like Yoki's been trying with her dad, for real. Russell Simmons' daughter, Yoki, basically is saying that, you know, every time she speaks to her father, you know, she always gets sick. It makes her sick. She have to go on medication and things like that. She explained to him why she stopped speaking to him. She's basically saying, look, dad. These things has to change before we start speaking again. It's very sad and heartbreaking to see this story unfold like this. Um, the daughter and some other folks think that he might be suffering from some type of mental illness or even a form of dementia, which is very possible. It's just very, very sad. You know, they said that he was a really great dad before all of this and that he co-parented very well. Uh, him and Kimura were like the best of friends and everything just went downhill after everything that was going on with him in the media so again it's very very sad and I hope that you know um they could get things on the right track so at least the kids can get back some sort of relationship with their dad because you could tell that they love their dad very very much so yeah i hope everything works out for them well guys that's it for this commentary i just wanted to come on here and do a little quick video get my little input on this situation but don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to your girl channel until next time y'all peace and i'm out